2024 will be a year of tremendous change and tremendous noise. With elections in key regions, we are likely to be subjected to a volley of rhetoric and uncertainty will be the order of the day. In times like this, it seems even more important to reach out to our wise community of our guests of the 50 Faces podcast for their insights on what should stay the same and what should evolve amid this uncertainty. We are delighted to kick off our first series of 2024 with a collection of guests who bring you insights on people and networks. Most people are really just trying to figure it out, that there was no precedent playbook for how best to execute. Hear how the desire for certainty is so pervasive. People need a concise explanation. People need that hand-holding. Much like human health uh, in ancient times, people didn't understand it. But people listen to shamans when it comes to human health. And now we need someone to pretend to know exactly what's going to happen with our investment. They discuss the importance of hearing the bad news early sometimes. Because we're a debt investor, I always tell them, focus on the bad news to me. The good news you can tell me at the end, but the bad news is what I want to hear. Because ultimately, if we hear the bad news, we can work out what are the potential solutions. We discuss company culture and the blockages to progress. What are the most difficult words in board life or investment committee life? And it's, I don't know, I was wrong, or I've changed my mind. I need help. And I think if we can't say those words within teams, then we're just opening ourselves to all kinds of problems. We hear about the power of capital to achieve global goals, even ambitious ones. We think about how can we use the power of our own capital to fund the ecosystem that we want to live in? How can we use financial means? How can we use our voice as active stewards? We speak about the burgeoning blue economy and the opportunities it presents. The biggest problem we need to solve to tackle the climate crisis is to make sure that we have a healthy ocean. We really needed to tackle the blue economy and try and make the blue economy sustainable and regenerative because it's, it's enormous. We often reflect on the evolution of asset management and private wealth and the inevitable march of alternative assets in that mix. We could see a world where client portfolios can have 25 to even up to 50% of their portfolios in alternatives. Now that's gonna be a journey and it's not gonna be an instantaneous movement, but we do believe that alternatives will become mainstream. As always, we include advice for careers, Always be respectful of yourself and others and don't run away from something. Always be running towards something. And hear from both a long-term guest and a new supporter who encourage us to use our platforms for good in however way we can and illustrate how they have done so. They definitely want them to know that they have a seat at the table. We actually called it the new table. It's a new table of power, wealth and influence. And, it's, and women are at the head of the table. We're all there together. That's kind of the idea. We can create the companies, the cultures, and the jobs of tomorrow. When we look back in our careers, both you and I, we just don't want to leave anything undone or look back and say we had opportunities that we didn't take or didn't use our platform to the fullest to make a, a difference. So tune in from next week to Series 1 of the 2024 50 Faces podcast. You can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. This series is supported by Apollo Global Management, a leading provider of alternative asset management and retirement services solutions. Apollo seeks to provide clients excess return at every point along the risk-reward spectrum and is focused on empowering retirees, building and financing stronger businesses, and driving a more sustainable future.